Hello guys, I hope you're having a great day today and uh, we're here today on our something different chat time. So I'm actually inside. I tried to do this outdoors, but it started getting dark early and then our neighbors around here, they, they don't, they love to have dogs that just bark all the time, whether there's nothing to bark at or not. So I don't have nothing against people that have pets. I don't want you to think that, but uh, we had dogs growing up, but we made ours to hush. Unless there was somebody strange showed up, then they were supposed to bark to let us know. And, you know, when we told them to be quiet, they, was, they got quiet. So anyway, had to deal with that outside. So I decided, well, I'll just come on in here. <clears throat> excuse me but anyway uh i hope you're having a good week i trust that uh you had a good weekend that the lord's been good to you and uh i hope you went and voted yesterday i hope you did exercise your right and privilege to be able to vote in this election but more than that i hope you prayed about who you voted for and and I hope and pray that God's will will be done. I, I'm recording this uh, prior to election day, so I don't know that uh, I know who's going in. But anyway, uh, probably chances are, I know my videos come out on Wednesdays, chances are we don't have an outcome as of yet anyway. But anyway, I hope and pray that God's will will be done and God will take care of us in the days ahead. But that kind of leads into what I want to talk about today on our uh, chat time here. But before I do, I want to welcome, I know we've had some new subscribers and I want to welcome you. And I appreciate all the kind comments. Uh, so many of you have been so kind and leaving nice comments and I appreciate that. And uh, I Chances are we'll probably, most of us will never meet in this life. But I hope and pray, especially if you're a Christian, I look forward to meeting you folks in the life ahead when we get to heaven. So anyway, I do want to welcome you aboard if you're a new subscriber. And if you've been with me for a good while, I, I thank you for sticking with me and staying here. So I appreciate all of you. But anyway, uh, if you're not a subscriber, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button. If this is something you would like, and uh, hit the little bell icon so you'll be notified if, each time we put out a new video. So anyway, I'm going to get right on into our talk time today. And uh, I really don't have something new uh, that you probably hadn't already heard. But uh, I'm going to try it anyway. And while I'm thinking about it, uh, today's wash day. So these are clothes. This is not a closet that's uh, behind me. Uh, but today was wash day. So we've got clothes hanging up here in the house. And so we hang some of our items up to air dry to save from using the uh, clothes dryer. But anyway... I want to get right on into our time today, and I want to talk about being prepared. Preparations for whatever. That, If I put a title on it, that's probably what I'd title it today. So preparations for whatever. And I know there's been a lot said about things to be prepared and things that you can do. And I've, I've actually inserted a few things in recent videos, and, you know, I'm preparations that you could make but I just want to share some basic essential items that maybe you haven't thought of that you could have in your home just to have a few extra and uh, that would help you in the event that uh, you know say and I honestly I, I've heard today that uh, there's another shutdown coming and I won't talk a lot about this but I think this one is probably going to be different from the last one. Uh, you know, people pretty much come and win as they pleased without any uh, repercussions, at least here in our state. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be that way 
from what I've been told on the next one, now I may could be wrong. Uh, I talked to a gentleman today, and he told me he works in law enforcement. And from what he told me, he said, this next one is going to be different. So I don't want to go into a lot of detail there, but it may be that we are pretty much confined to our homes. And folks, you've got to be able to survive on what you have. So you think about some basic items that you would need. Now, I want to talk about those, uh, and I'm going to just share a few of them, but one is water. Uh, you know, right now, you know, we keep several jugs, you know, gallon jugs of water that's primarily for cooking and uh, drinking if we need to and things of that nature. But you also need water for bathing, you need water for cleaning, and you need water to flush your toilet with. So I have a container out here. I was wanting to be able to show this and I didn't really get around to it. But I have, I think it's about a 30 gallon barrel. Uh, I have it out here on my carport and I went and filled it up last week. I should have already done it, but I didn't. I wasn't really, I'll tell you, this last hurricane caught a lot of people by surprise. And, but I went on and filled it up because, uh, you know, last week we lost our water. I shared with you in the video, the update on that. We lost our water for 24 hours. Now, we didn't lose electricity, thank goodness, but our water did go down because we're on a community well here. And the power company that supplies the electricity to it is different from where we get electricity for our home here. But anyway, you know, but thankfully we were prepared. We did have some water already on hand, so, you know, it wasn't immediate panic. But I did later on in the day when I saw that it didn't look like the water was going to come back on. I just went on and filled up that barrel and took it over to my father-in-law's. I filled that barrel up, brought it back home, we set it off. So that water is primarily for cleaning purposes. And so we have that and I still have some left. I'll probably uh, top it off. And I can top it off with my water hose here now, you know, while I have water. But anyway, water is something that you need to know that you've got access to uh, in the event your electricity goes down and say that your pump, if you have a well that you pump, that, that you know, you use for the electricity, uh, you need to know that you can still get that water. I remember my grandparents would always you know, when it looked like ice storm or something was coming, they would have, I've seen them take canter pots, uh, big vessels like that, and fill them up with water the night before, the day before. So they would have all that water on hand. That's being prepared, folks. That's wisdom. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. But that's using wisdom. That's using your head for something besides a hat, right? So... But anyway, water is something important. And let's, let's go on and talk about just some essential items with inside the home. Uh, now let's think about cooking for a moment. Uh, you need flour. You need uh, some way to make you some bread. Uh, we have a good supply of flour here. And you also need like your baking soda or yeast or uh, salt. Salt is one of those things that can be, has a thousand and one uses. So does baking soda. And if you have those items, you know, you can make you a loaf of bread or a uh, pan of biscuits, you know, or what have you. And provided that you have a way to cook them. Now, I wouldn't be able to necessarily, if the power went out, I wouldn't be able to use a, use on the stove but I have we have fixed what we call pan biscuits where you actually cook them in a skillet and they're not really 
they're, they'll just get you by, put it like that. They're not really my favorite thing to eat, but uh, we have fixed cornbread. Now, I love fried cornbread in a cast iron skillet. Now, that's talking my language right there. But, uh, you know, but just say that we are shut down for a while and can't go nowhere. Uh, you need some essential groceries in your home. Uh, you know, now here, thankfully, we've put up a number of things this past summer, and there's still items that I want to put up. Uh, we have the greens. I would love to be able to put some mustard greens up and definitely creasy greens because we love those. And so, you know, that that's other things that's coming up. Then we have our greens right out here in the yard, uh, in the backyard garden that uh, we have. We've got cabbage and broccoli and uh, collards. The collards are starting to look better. So I thank the Lord for that. But anyway, you know, having your essential food items, uh, cooking oil. Uh, now here we use uh, canola oil and we also use coconut oil. Now my wife does keep a little bit of shortening uh, here, but we don't use that near as much as we used to. Butter is another good item. You can freeze that and it can be canned. There's videos on YouTube, you know, talks about canning butter. I've never tried it. Um, I've heard some people say it has a little different texture and a little different smell to it, taste, what have you. I don't know. I've never tried it, but it would be something to look into. Uh, you wouldn't have to can a lot. Uh, I wouldn't want to can too much because I, I would not want it to sit and maybe, you know, have a foul taste to it if it sat very long. I don't know what the shelf life of it is to can it. I've really not done a lot of research into that, but there is videos on YouTube that shows how to do that. So if you know if you think that would be something that you would look, be interested in, but. You know, I think about some, just some basic items is baking soda, salt, sugar is another one. Uh, honey, uh, you know, a way to have that you can sweeten, uh, you know, things if you, you know, say if you're making a cake or if you're making pancakes or what have you. Those are items that you can, you know, use to get by with. Uh, but definitely baking soda has a thousand and one uses other than cooking. It's excellent cleaner uh, that you can use it for. And salt is another one. Uh, salt can even be used in some first aid measures provided that you needed it. Epsom salt is another good item. Uh, it's not really necessary for cooking, but Epsom salt can be used in the garden. Epsom salt is a good laxative. Epsom salt is uh, good to help with sprains or b muscle aches or anything like that. So Epsom salt would be something else that I would look into keeping around. And it's also essential fertilizer. Uh, you can look up the use of that. But uh, And your cleaning items. Uh, we've tried to stock up on as much of that as we can. Uh, Bleach is something very important uh, because that's a good way to sanitize stuff which you will need in the days ahead. And, you know, your dish detergents, uh, your washing detergent, you know, for cleaning your clothes, and also your to bathe with. You would need soap for that. So, you know, those are items that we use every day. We take for granted and we really don't think about it. But another thing, uh, I mentioned this just a minute ago, is first aid items like band-aids, bandages, uh, ointments. Uh, you know, we use Neosporin a lot. Uh, calamine lotion. Just say, for instance, you get into poison and you need some. Those items are things that we take for granted that they're always going to be there, but they're handy to have them and make sure that we have them on hand. Uh, you know, sweet oil, olive oil, uh, they're handy for earaches. Go look that up. Uh, 
there's so many different little things like that that we just take for granted and then let's go out to the shop and let's think about things there and I think about something like my chainsaw and just say in the event like we have an ice storm or you have a hurricane and maybe you have a tree down well you need fuel for it you need the oil that goes in the bar and you also need to make sure your chain is in good condition and I, I'm guess <coughs> I have a bad habit of not throwing nothing away but when I go purchase a new chain for my chainsaw I usually keep the old one even though it's probably wore out but in the case that one fails I have that one that I can fall back on at least it'll get me by in an emergency so it's not a bad idea to always have a backup I have two chainsaws far as I know they both still run that's another thing is don't hurt periodically through the summer whether you're using them or not get them out crank them up and run them just a few minutes just to make sure everything's running all right well the way our gas is now it's not a bad idea to do that anyway but uh, you know make sure you have fuel for it make sure you have your two cycle oil and your bar and chain oil and uh, then it's not a bad idea to have your fuel for your mower or for your tractor or whatever piece of equipment that you may have that you would need that with because if you need it in an emergency and here's another thing say for instance it is an ice storm or if it's a hurricane chances are the electricity is going to be out there and you can't pump fuel you can't the gas station will not have electricity to pump fuel so if you've already got it you don't have to go nowhere but in the event of a shutdown you're not probably won't be able to go nowhere so that's another item to have uh, make sure you your tools are in good shape you know where they are uh, right now I've got a son that he loves to work on stuff and uh, I come home the other evening I found my hacksaw left laying out here in the carport so I went and put it back where I knew where it goes and uh, but you know if you're blessed that uh, you don't have teenagers around the house no more <laughs> messing with your stuff then you're blessed but uh, take care of your tools and, and be sure that you know where they're at in the event that you need them hammer nails you know having some screws and some nails and make sure you're if you have battery pack drills make sure that they're charged up and you know if they're not I do have a way that I can charge mine if I don't have electricity uh, I have another item that I can use to charge mine with in the event <coughs> excuse me folks getting that tickle in my throat again but in the event that we lose power uh, I have another item that I can actually uh, use a cigarette lighter on my truck now that means I have to crank my truck up and let it run to charge it up but I hope it don't come down to that but if it does I have that way of that means of being able to do that so you know in the event that that happens you know you've got that that you can fall on and you know these are just some simple things uh, but in the first aid line now I don't know you know talking about the shortages and things and, and I honestly believe that's another thing another reason that we should be preparing because I believe there'll be more shortages come later on I've noticed here most of our stores here are beginning to gradually stop back up but one thing I've noticed the prices is going up too but we have been without in our area right here is rubbing alcohol and I don't know if, how that is in other parts of the country but right here we've actually been without that all summer and this morning I noticed I had to go to the store for my wife this morning 
I noticed they had a little bit back in stock, but they have a limit on it. You can only get two, so I went ahead and bought two just to have it because, uh, you know, that's a, that's a first aid item, and uh, you need that. And I use that when I shave. I, I'm old school, I guess. I take and put a little bit in my hand and rub it over my face after I get done shaving, and it keeps me from getting razor burn. And uh, But that's an old school trick, I guess. But anyway, you know, that's another item that, uh, you know, that you can stock up on if you can find in coarser paper products. Uh, definitely, you know, you're looking at that. But another thing to think about as we, you know, we're growing closer to the, drawing close to the end of this year. And before we know it, folks, it's going to be time to garden again. And I don't know, some of you don't use fertilizer, and some of you may, I don't know, you know, but here I don't have a problem using a synthetic fertilizer. I've used it all my life, and I've used chicken manure. Uh, you know, it's not killed me. But, uh, you know, that's another thing. If you can find it, now's probably a good time to just set your extra bag aside in the event that you can't go nowhere or that you can't find it. That's my thing. I'm wondering if we'll be able to find it come next year. But uh, have that set aside. And another thing would be your seeds. You know, go ahead and start thinking about preparing for uh, next year. One thing too, cannon lids. Now, when I was at the hardware store, I asked the lady, I talked to the lady about the canning supplies, the lids and jars and things. And she said what she was told was October the 28th would be when the next shipment came in. Well, I don't know what they got because I've not been back to them, but the store, our grocery store here that we go to periodically, I did notice this morning they had three cases of pint jars in, but no lids or seals or anything like that. And that's what I'm in need of. I, I've got the jars. I, I just would love to beef up my lid stock. Now I have a few and we're trying to make those last, but I hope and pray now the way the lady talked to me at the hardware, she said it would be March of next year before full production of those lids would be back full swing. So I hope and pray that we have them. Because if not, I'm going to have to turn to some alternative methods of storing food. And I don't like putting everything in the freezer because you stand the risk if the power goes out, you can lose everything. And to be honest with you, my freezer's full right now. All of them. And we've got two freezers here, and they're both. You can't, there, there's no more getting anything else in them. I mean, they're full. And so, you know, I don't like to live that close to the edge. Normally, my freezers are not that full, but with situation the way it is, that's why they're that way. So, you know, these are just a handful of items. I'm sure you could probably think of a thousand more. And, but let's just be prepared. And you say, well, what if none of this happens? Thank the Lord. I hope it doesn't. But I just, I don't know. I just have a feeling that uh, we're going to need it. It may not be as bad as we think, and I hope I'm right there. And I hope it's definitely not worse than I ever thought it would be. But let's be prepared, folks. Let's be prepared for whatever lies ahead. But the most important thing I want to share with you, and then I'm going to close. I'm going to get off of here is having your heart right with God before you leave this world. 
That is the greatest preparation that we can make is to know that our name's written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And folks, I hope and trust that you know that. And, you know, uh, a lot of people might find that offensive when I say that. If you're offended by that, you can go ahead and turn this off right now. That's fine. I'm not forcing this on no one. But, folks, that's the most important thing that you can uh, do is to know that you're born again. And that's probably one of the greatest uh, things you can leave your family is to know that you'll go to heaven when you die. And I hope and trust that you will. So, folks, I'm going to stop and leave it right there. I've actually went a little longer than I anticipated. But anyway, I hope you find this helpful. And we'll talk about some more things in the coming days ahead. I've got two more topics that's really I've been thinking on. Uh, but I just hadn't kind of got them worked out in my mind how I want to say it. But uh, hopefully we can share something with you that will help you in life. That's my goal. So I'm going to hush. I'm going to get off of here. And uh, I've got some things going on here this evening. It is Saturday evening here right now. And uh, we've got a few things going on. Preparation for Sunday morning or Sunday dinner. So we're trying to get some things going there. So anyway, folks, I'm going to hush and get off of here. And I hope and trust you have a good week. And thank you from Little North Carolina Farmer. Have a great day.